Father, we come before you. We bow our heads and humble hearts. Yes, sir. Father, we thank you for your love. Yes. We thank you for your grace and mercy. Yes. For it's not for you, Father. We wouldn't be here today. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Your love and your grace has kept us. Father, there are people, there are some here today, Father, that has come with a troubled heart and a busy mind. Yes, yes. Some are struggling with some things, Father, because they've been struggling with for a long time. And just can't seem to get over. But we're here today to say that there is Jesus that knows all about our problems. The only thing we need to do is just take it to him and pray. Yes, Lord. He already has the answer. Yes. He is waiting for us. Yes. It is not us that's waiting for him. Yes, Lord. So Father, we come with thanksgiving in our heart. And know, Father, oh, that you know what's in our hearts and minds. Father, sometimes we feel we just cannot make it over. But Father, you already know the end of before we know how to do it. And if we would only just put our trust in you, yes, sir. that you will bring us through. Father, we come in once again to another closing of the year. Yeah. And Father, there's been so many things that we have, so many challenges that we have had to deal with, that we just couldn't figure out just how we're gonna make it through. But Father, we know we serve a God, a risen Savior. Yes. Father, that said that he will never leave us yes. or forsake us. Yes. And he's there, he promised. Yes, he did. You can call him in the morning. Mm -hmm. You can call him in the room day. Mm -hmm. And you can call him in the midnight hour. Yes, yes. Yes. Thank you. And Father, we pray for this church. For the very foundation mm -hmm. that is standing over. Yes, Lord. Father, rain down your blessings upon the greatest St. Matthew. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And every person that's under the sound of my voice. Yes. We pray, Father, that you will touch them. Yes. Heal them. Yes. Give them comfort, Father, yes. where they feel yes. that they have no other way. Yes. Father, we pray for our pastor. Yes. Yes. The devil has decided that he wants to try to take him down. Yes. But Father, we know that Jesus is still in the healing business. Oh, yes, yes. There is nothing, nothing. that he cannot do. That's yes. it. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. Yes. And Father, we pray that we will continue to put our trust in you. For there is no other God but you. No one higher than you, no one below you. The old man is the Alpha Father. Yes. So, Father, we sit to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you for bringing us through. Thank you for letting us attend this service this morning. Thank you for the privilege of being in your presence. We thank you for life. Because you gave it to us. You didn't have to, but you did. We thank you so much, Father, for all that we are going through and what you know that you need to take us through. Oh, Father, if we had a thousand times, thank you enough. it's not enough to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We owe the gratitude to you. And thank you, Father, for giving us your only begotten Son. That died, hung, died on the cross for the sin of the world and of mankind. But Father, 
we know that there is a way home. And he left a door open for us for the believers that believe in him. And for we just we just want to just say thank you, Lord. Thank you for all that you have done, all that you are doing, and all that you will do. Father, we need not go home and have to worry because it's all in your hands. It's all in your hands. And it's already done. So we proclaim the victory right now. Right now, Lord, we proclaim the victory. Because you cannot fail. And Father, we pray for not only the strength for all the auxiliaries in this church, our musicians. All of the cabinets in this home, in this house, Lord. And we just say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for doing so much for us that even that we don't even deserve. We didn't even deserve to get up this morning. But you touched us and woke us up and brought us here to hear your word. And we thank you in the name of Jesus. With thanksgiving.